It's the day of your assessment. You've completed your continuity testing. You're moving through insulation resistance. The assessor is breathing down your neck and you know there's something you have to remember when testing the lighting circuit. <laughs> what is it? Oh. So why do we have to operate two-way switches during insulation resistance testing? In a two-way switching circuit, you've got two switches controlling the same light, usually in places like stairwells and hallways. Many two-way lighting circuits have what we call a strap between each switch, and that strap has got two conductors. If you don't operate both switches, you're only testing one of those straps. This means any insulation fault hiding on the other strap could go undetected. By switching both positions and retesting, you're covering every possible conductor path. And this isn't just a box ticking exercise, it is what is expected from Guidance Note 3. Always operate both switches, and it only takes seconds, and it could be the difference between a pass and a dangerous live conductor hidden in plain sight.